Hi, welcome to 247 Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can disassemble or open this Xbox 360 so you can have access to the fan and heatsink and remove the DVD ROM drive. Let's get started with this. Okay, let's start opening it. Uh, this portion by sliding that piece. I've lost it, I don't know where it is. So the first thing, this is it. Now to remove this piece at the top, in one hand I'm holding and rotating it a little with a little force, and on the other hand I'm just pushing here to Yes, so this portion is out. I'm holding it. Now I'm going in here, in the middle one. That's done. That now then, then the last one. Yes. So. Here and here. So this is now removed. It's the most fragile piece. I think it's wireless cord. That's out. Now let's do it this way. Yes. Once one piece is up, then you can hold it with your fingers. Okay, let's start opening it. Uh, this portion by sliding that piece. I've lost it, I don't know where it is. So the first thing, this is it. Now to remove this piece at the top, in one hand I'm holding and rotating it a little with a little force, and on the other hand I'm just pushing here to... Yes, so this portion is out, I'm holding it. Now I'm going in here, in the middle one, that's done. That now then then the last one. Yes. So here and here. So this is now removed. The most fragile piece. I think it's wireless cord. That's out. Now let's do it this way. Once one piece is up, then you can hold it with your fingers. And So, you see these two are the same, but this was different. This is now open, both sides. Now I'm trying to open this up like that, remove the seal. The seal was holding it exactly at the end of the serial number and here. So, you need to insert something Thinner than many screwdrivers, maybe. Let's release it, release this clip. And, and then with a flat screwdriver, turn this and then push this piece. Okay, so this is now removed. This is now removed. And here. We have two more cuts here, which we can remove with this flat screwdriver, like that. One, and then two. So, it has been removed now. And this portion is removed. Let's open this, these screws on this side. One, two, three, four, and five. And to open those, I'm using this hex tip. This is 
10, this is T10H. So that's the Wi Fi or wireless module. Once removed, so I've removed these five screws. Now let's see. So easily removed, and this side now pops out. But we have to be careful about this. This portion there is a wire holding it. Remove this cable. Make sure to lift this green portion first. Once that is done, then push this out and then this will pop out. And this is now removed. Remove this as well to see what is going on underneath this. Now let's remove this wireless piece if we want to. So that's the Wi-Fi or wireless module. Once you remove that, this can be removed. And here is what you have access. I want to open this portion and clean up the heatsink. But before that, let's remove the CD drive. The CD drive is just loose. It needs two wires to be detached and you are good. Let's remove the hard drive wire first. And after that, remove this. And this is out. See if there is any dust or anything underneath because the fan is working perfectly, but why it says heating up? So I have to do that. So this was just a simple piece that was holding it. Okay, let's open this. On this side we have this screw. Let's just open it first. This is open, but we have another screw here on this side, on and here. Now this piece is fully removed. We remove the fan now by disconnecting it from here. The sink seems very clean. Now let's open the heat sink and now then let's put this one back. And let's insert the fan back now I'm putting this hard drive caddy Now this fan goes on the heatsink after this, and there are these two screws here. First, let's put the DVD ROM.
when you want to put it, put it back the same way. First, make sure that this, this portion of up in, and then clip this in. So when you're putting this, this, you see the side that we have the Wi-Fi? Put it in the side that we have this hole. The same, you will not make mistake. There are certain holes that it will not fit if you put it in the wrong way. That is done. Now on this side, where we have the hard drive, put this in here. Then the last piece on this side. Thank you for watching. Uh, please thumb up the video if you learn something and resolve your issue. And also, please type something in the comment section below. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. Your subscription is really valuable to me. Can remove the fan now by disconnecting it from here. The heat sink is the heat sink seems very clean. It's barely a dust here. Why it says it is overheating. <laughs>